Hey there guys, welcome to my movie vlog. My name's John Campia. Now, MoviePass came along a while ago and kind of upended the entire industry. For just 10 bucks a month, you can see unlimited movies and other bodies have kind of launched their own movie subscription services as well. You've got a similar card like Cinemia is in action right now. And even movie theaters changed like Cinemark launched their own version of it with their movie club. The deal that MoviePass offers is obviously incredible. 10 bucks a month for unlimited movies is crazy. Now, unfortunately in the past, of months, we've seen the company behind MoviePass acting, let's say, a little bit sketchy. Everything from drastically exaggerating how much revenue their service actually provides for movie theaters, cutting off certain theaters belonging to a particular movie theater chain that won't play ball with them by giving them a cut of their concession stands, blocking some of their subscribers from using MoviePass to go see a certain movie just because another movie was opening on the same weekend that bought promotional service and advertising with MoviePass. And now we come to this, which might be something significant or might be nothing at all. You see what's happening? right now is that MoviePass has entered into a highly publicized partnership with iHeartRadio. The basic deal goes something like this. For $30 a month, you get three months of MoviePass and an extended trial edition of iHeartRadio's All Access. That's actually not a bad deal considering you're already just paying 10 bucks a month for MoviePass anyway. Here's the little catch, and the fine print of all that is this. If you sign up for this deal, instead of getting unlimited movies every month, which is kind of the underlying basic premise of the whole MoviePass scheme, you only get limited to four movies per month. And here's the other catch of it too. Right now, if you wanted to go and sign up for MoviePass, you don't have the option to sign up for their $10 a month plan. The only option they're giving you right now is this iHeartRadio plan, about 30 bucks for three months at four movies per month. That means if you just wanted to go to MoviePass right now and sign up for their unlimited $10 a month plan, you can't, it's not something that's available to you or anybody else right now. The good thing is people who are already MoviePass members, this doesn't seem to affect their membership at the moment anyway. Now, when people were reaching out to MoviePass on Twitter, asking them, where is this $10 a month plan? This is how MoviePass responded. Currently, the $9.95 monthly is not available on the MoviePass website. The $9.95 plan will return after this limited time offer expires. Okay, so after the iHeartRadio deal is done, everything goes back to normal and people can get their $10 a month plans. Notice that it doesn't say anything about the unlimited plan returning. This omission about not mentioning whether the unlimited part of that plan is coming back has got a few people concerned. Now, like I said at the beginning, maybe this means something, maybe it doesn't. The concern for a lot of people is this though, is that MoviePass is now moving away from their unlimited plan and going to a four film a month plan, which quite frankly, is still a pretty damn good deal, but it might be another indicator that the financial model and the business plan that MoviePass seems to have doesn't really seem to be working and they're needing to reduce the amount of service they can provide. Or it's just an omission from the Twitter site. Like maybe they meant to say the unlimited plan returns and they just forgot. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. My question for you guys is this. Let's say for argument's sake that MoviePass does reduce their service to four films a month limit. Is it still a good enough deal for you? Personally, I think it's still a pretty great deal, but maybe for some people, it's not quite as appealing. Would you want to sign up for it if you haven't already, if it's just a four movie a month plan, or would you look at another service? I want to know what you guys think. Jump down to the comments section of this video and let me know your thoughts. And listen guys, once you're here anyway, why don't you take a second and click on that subscribe button. Also make sure you click on that little bell button to get the notifications. My name's John Campia. Thanks a lot for joining me. And until my next video, bye bye